Hey guys, welcome back to Toy Lab TV. I'm Aaron, and I'm here with JC today. Hey everyone! And it's Dinosaur Day Yay. at Toy Lab TV. We're going to be opening up this giant Play-Doh dinosaur surprise egg. And it's got a big bad dinosaur on the front, and then it says Indy across the bottom. So JC, what does Indy mean again? Indy is the nickname that we gave for Indominus Rex. That's right, Indominus Rex is a big bad dinosaur. She is mean and she can take on even a T-Rex. Let's grab our little Indominus Rex version that we opened up a couple of videos ago. This was the one that uh, had the side that opened up and it came with some other cool toys. So you can check that video out. But you know what, today it's all about the egg for us. So let's get started. Wow, this is a huge Play-Doh surprise egg. It's really heavy, too. What did you put in here, bricks? Well, you're going to have to find out when you open it up. Okay, let's get started. Let's start tearing into wait, this bad wait, boy. Wait, wait, There's a surprise on the back, so there, turn it around. There is a surprise on the back. You think we should turn it around? All right, here we go. I don't want to, like, mess up the little indie label there. but Oh, it's green, and I see some letters, and it says T-Rex. Awesome! So we've got a T-Rex on the back and an Indominus Rex on the front. So should we go ahead and start now? Do we start on the T-Rex side or do we start on the Indominus Rex side? Let's go for Indominus Rex. Okay, let's peel her off here. Oh, I tore the head off. I was trying to get it in one smooth motion. One big piece. Oh well, let's just get in here. Now we're gonna go take off the T-Rex, right? So do you guys have a favorite? Let us know, is it T-Rex or Indominus Rex? All right, look at all these toys in this egg. You know what? I think we see a lot of dinosaur toys in here. Cool, let's just dump it out. Wow, look at all these dinosaur toys. There's a few other toys in there too, but it's mostly dinosaurs. JC, which one do you think we should open up first? Let's go with one of those big boxes over there. All right, let's start off with this Jurassic World rescue truck. It's a die cast from the movie. And looks like there's a few we can collect. We'll check those out in just a minute. First, let's get this guy open. All right, so this is our rescue truck from Jurassic World. And you see the logo there on the door that opens up. Let's see if I can get my finger in there. That door opens up and you see a steering wheel and a seat in there. This door, I think, opens up too. And these doors have got some serious protection on the windows so no dinosaur can come in here bust its way in through the front or the back windows. And uh, as we said, it's a die cast vehicle and the wheels seem to roll pretty well. So I'd say that's a pretty cool Jurassic World rescue truck right there. Let's take a look at where our rescue truck is on our collector's chart. And we see it down there on the bottom left. And uh, there's three other die casts we can collect. Since we just had a die cast car, I say we open up this blind bag matchbox power grabs car. How about that? Okay, here's our Matchbox Blind Bag Diecast Vehicle, and it's an ATV, an all-terrain vehicle 4x4. Cool! That's awesome. Why don't you see if it fits inside of that rescue truck you just opened? You know, it just might, JC, because even though I figured a Matchbox would be a lot smaller than this big diecast truck, they're smaller in real life, ATVs are, so this looks like it's almost the same scale when you put them kind of side by side. And let's see if it does fit in the back here. You know, there's a couple of roll bars back here that might be a little tight but there we go it kind of sort of fits oh it popped out well it's hey still you know a what? cool set though yeah you could use this as a set pretend this is also from jurassic world and this guy's gonna go out and find the people who need rescuing bring them back and it'll be rescued in the truck well, what should we do next the dinosaur oh you want to do the brawlosaurus okay i've never seen one of these let's check it out and see what it does Okay, so here's our Stegosaurus, and this is uh, from the Brawlosaurus toy line. 
And uh, these are new to us, so we're trying to make sure we know everything you can do with it. But I uh, do know that what you can do is you wind up his tail like this until it clicks. I kind of wound it a little bit already. And then you choose how this Brawlosaurus is going to battle another Brawlosaurus when they come face to face. So you can slash with a claw, you can bite with the teeth, or you can bash, I guess run into each other. And so uh, we'll need another Brawlosaurus. I think we might have one in here, so we'll try this out in a minute. Arr, that's our T-Rex Brawlosaurus. So like I said, we're going to wind him up. I tell you what, JC, why don't you wind this guy up and select your action that you're going to do, but don't let me know, okay. and I'll wind mine up. Okay. And I won't let you know what I'm going to do. So I'm just wind this up. I kind of wound it a bit. And what do you think we should do here? We won't let JC know we're going to that. There we go. Now we put him down on the table, and then they're gonna run into each other, and then they're gonna attack. All right, so here comes our Stegosaurus, and oh, he runs into a T-Rex. Awesome! I don't know who won that one, actually. There's a little chart here that tells you which move beats what. So let's take a look at this chart, and it says slash beats bash, bite beats slash, and bash beats bite. So it's kind of like rock, paper, scissors, but I think we need to do it again. So I'm gonna wind it up, and then I'm gonna choose, but JC doesn't get to see what I'm choosing here. Let's see which well, one. I'm picking mine that you don't get to see either. So you don't know who's gonna do what. Wanna do that one? That is bite. Okay, now back to Dino Wars. Come on, T-Rex. Ooh, I think they both lost. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do one more. Let me wind it up. I'm going to get you this time. Oh, you are? Okay, well, not if I go to that mode right there. Bash. All right, Dino Wars. Uh-oh. We're on the same mode, probably. We are, so nobody wins. So it's a tie. Here's our last round of Dino Wars. Ooh, let's see who. Oh, I think that's a tie. I'm gonna get you this time. No, T-Rex is gonna win. I don't think T -Rex so. T-Rex always wins. I'm back here on that. And oh, look at that. This one, mine was down for the so, count and T-Rex is I the winner. Won. Cool. Okay, so I think let's open up our other die cast vehicle here, the Mercedes Benz G-Class 4x4. And here is our Mercedes G-Class 4x4 off-road vehicle with the Jurassic World logo there on the side. I think the doors open on this one too. Yes, they do. Okay, there. There's the steering wheel, just like on our rescue truck. And it is like almost all metal. This is a pretty cool die cast. Bottom is plastic, but it's got the wheels that roll pretty well and the spare tire here on the back. Which one... Do you like better, JC? I the, still like the blue one better. You like the rescue truck? Yeah. Okay, cool. I think I like them both, but I'd probably go for the rescue truck, too. Looks like it could take on some dinosaurs with those metal screens on the windows. This one would probably be running away. Okay, I think we should grab this Play School Heroes dinosaur. We're going to add this to our collection. You know, we have a few others. There's a Play School Heroes there and back there at the back. And then also that truck that's from one of our earlier videos where we opened up the Play School Heroes. So let's get this dinosaur opened up. All right, so this is our Play School Heroes pterodactyl flying dinosaur toy. And you know, this looks like a really kind of cute, almost like a little bird, but these are always the guys you gotta look out for in the movies. They always seem to be escaping. Let's take a look at ours. The head moves back and forth and turns left to right. And there's a little button here on the front and you press it and the wings flap. See, look at that. So you can just fly away. All right, so what do we have next? Now this is something we found at the store that we weren't totally sure what we were getting, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool because it says Dino World Fossil Kit. I think it's actually a fossil kit, JC. Well, I think we're gonna to get to open this up and find some fossils inside. So what do you say we This start? one looks cool. Here's our Dino World Fossil Surprise Egg. You know, this is like a new spin on Surprise Egg, right? We're gonna open it up. That says to do this over some paper. So I think this is gonna be a messy toy. We like messy toys, right? There go. The package says that there are several different dinosaurs you can collect 
that are inside of this egg. And I think this egg is made out of dirt. That's why we need the paper. Because now we're going to take our tools here. And these are the tools that come with it. This looks like some sort of a chisel and a, like a poker and then a little brush. And, you know, that's like in the movies, you see them brushing a little All the dinosaur. dirt away. Yeah, they brush so the dirt away. I think we start with the chisel or the kind of that. Let's try this. Yeah, maybe the chisel. Oh, wow. This is like hard dirt here. This may take a while. So this is definitely going to take some time. We're going to go outside because, you know, this, even though it says it's dirt, it's really more like concrete and it's making quite a mess here in the Toy Lab TV headquarters. So we'll go outside, open it up and be right back. So we had to go outside and grab a screwdriver to get that egg apart because that was some seriously hard dirt. I think that was really more like concrete. Yeah, but I think it's going to be worth it though. So let's get our little chisel tool out of the way and then you take the brush and then we can clean up each of the fossils with this little brush, just like they do in the movie. All right, here are all of our dinosaur bones all cleaned up now. JC, do you think we should go ahead and put it together? Yeah, go for it. Okay, here's our completed dinosaur. He's all assembled and ready to go in our little dino museum if we collect enough of these dinosaur skeletons. We're not totally sure which dinosaur this is. We think it's a Parasaurolophus, but uh, if we're wrong, Feel free to tell us in the comments and let us know which dinosaur this really is. On the uh, back of the packaging, it shows there are several you can collect. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got this one right over here. We've got a few more to try to dig out of some eggs if we can find them. If you like this video and you'd like to see more giant Play-Doh surprise eggs from our channel, be sure to subscribe using that red button down below. And if you'd like to see another giant dinosaur surprise egg, click here on the left to watch it now. Or if you'd like to see more of the Play School Heroes dinosaur figures featured in this video, click here on the right. Thanks for watching.